Imagine a future where our food doesn't just grow on vast sprawling fields, but in towering skyscrapers right in the heart of our bustling cities. This isn't a scene from science fiction, it's a real and thriving innovation known as vertical farming. But what exactly is vertical farming? What can we grow in these high-tech green havens, and what are the benefits and drawbacks of embracing this approach? I'm Malcolm, your guide to a hopeful future, and in today's Future Unfolded video, we'll explore the world of vertical farms. We'll unearth the history, delve into the crops, weigh the pros and cons, and even take a glimpse into an amazing future where vertical farms could become part of our everyday lives. Vertical farming may seem like a concept straight out of the future, but did you know its roots can be traced back to as early as the 1950s? That's right, the seed of this innovative idea was planted 70 years ago, long before many of our modern technological advancements. The birth of vertical farming began with hydroponics and greenhouses, but it was the American ecologist Dixon Despommier who really conceptualized the idea of growing food in vertically stacked layers. In 2008, he appeared on the Colbert Report where he talked about vertical farming. Since then, he's talked often about the advantages and opportunities of vertical farming. In 2022, the global vertical farming market size was just over 4 billion US dollars, and it's projected to grow from $5 billion in 2023 to almost $27.5 billion in 2030. Anything that can be grown with hydroponic or aquaponic systems could be grown in vertical farms. But a prominent star in the vertical farming world are leafy greens. With this preference for controlled environments, leafy greens, like different types of lettuce, thrive in vertical farms, leading to fresh, crisp greens year-round. Other popular crops include tomatoes, cucumbers, peppers, and a wide array of herbs, like basil and mint. But the possibilities don't stop there. Vertical farming allows for experimentation with unique crops like microgreens, known for their nutritional punch, and even exotic herbs that might be difficult to cultivate in traditional settings. Want to continue to have coffee, or maybe start a new tree sapling? Vertical farms can help with those as well. In vertical farms, the barriers of seasons and climates are broken down. Imagine enjoying a fresh strawberry in winter, or sun-ripened tomato in the heart of a city. The marvel of vertical farming makes this possible, turning urban areas into thriving green havens, where the farm-to-table concept is not just a trend, but a daily reality. Let me know in the comments what fruit or vegetables you most love eating when it's fresh and in season versus being shipped from some other country, province, or state. Let's dive deeper into the key benefits that make vertical farming a promising solution for the future. First, we have sustainability. One of the standout features of vertical farming is its sustainable nature. By using hydroponic and aeroponic systems, vertical farms can reduce water usage by up to 99%. They can use little to no agrochemicals and create no agricultural runoff. Secondly, we have space efficiency. In an increasingly urbanized world, space is at a premium. Vertical farming offers a solution by allowing for multi-story farming in urban areas. A single acre of vertical farm could be the equivalent to anywhere from four to six outdoor acres, depending on the crop. This not only saves land, but also brings fresh produce closer to consumers. Next, we have climate control. With the ability to control temperature, humidity, and light, Vertical farms enable year-round production. No matter what the weather is outside, crops in vertical farms can thrive, providing a constant and reliable food supply. This is especially impactful in places like where I live in Canada that experience long, cold winters, or where severe weather events are becoming more common. We can't forget about reduced transportation. Growing food locally in vertical farms reduces the need for long-haul transportation. This, in turn, decreases carbon emissions and helps in maintaining the freshness and nutritional value of the produce. Singapore is aiming to produce 30% of its nutritional needs locally by 2030, with vertical farming playing a key role in this ambitious plan. The advantages of vertical farming are profound, but it does come with some potential challenges and drawbacks. The biggest one is that there are high costs. The technology required for vertical farming, including climate-controlled systems, artificial lighting, and specialized equipment, can be costly. Initial setup and ongoing energy expenses may deter some from adopting this method, particularly small-scale farmers. The second one, and the most important to me, are the environmental concerns. While vertical farming is praised for its sustainability, there are concerns regarding energy consumption, especially if non-renewable energy sources are used. I believe that vertical farming only makes sense with a completely renewable and abundant energy grid. Next, there is the technical knowledge required. Vertical farming is not just about planting seeds, it requires deep understanding of complex systems. 
The need for specialized skills in hydroponics, aeroponics, aquaponics, climate control can all create barriers to entry and ongoing challenges in maintenance. We also can't forget to consider the potential impact on traditional farming. As we embrace the new, it's essential to consider the impact on existing agricultural practices. How does vertical farming integrate with traditional farming? And what are the implications for rural communities and traditional farmers? And lastly, the dependence on technology. With the reliance on machinery, software, artificial environments, vertical farms are susceptible to technological failures. Even small malfunctions can lead to significant crop loss, adding a potential layer of risk to this farming method. Despite these challenges, the potential of vertical farming is undeniably vast, and the obstacles are not insurmountable. Addressing these challenges is part of the evolution of vertical farming, providing opportunities for collaboration, innovation, and thoughtful integration into our agricultural landscape. Let's consider what the future might hold for vertical farming and why it sparks such enthusiasm and hope. First off, there's global expansion. The adoption of vertical farming is growing around the world, from bustling cities to regions with harsh climates. This global embrace promises a future where fresh produce is accessible to more people, bridging gaps in food security and nourishing communities near and far. Next, there's technological advancements. As technology continues to advance, we can expect even more efficient, sustainable, and versatile vertical farming systems. From AI-powered climate control to robotics and renewable energy integration, the future of vertical farming is one of continuous innovation. Next, there's integration with urban architecture. Imagine skyscrapers filled not only with people, but with lush greenery, where farms are a natural part of our urban landscape. This isn't mere fantasy. Architects and urban planners are already exploring ways to blend vertical farms into city life, turning concrete jungles into thriving ecosystems. And of course, there are new crop opportunities. As vertical farming techniques improve, the range of crops that can be grown will expand from fruits and vegetables to medicinal plants, and maybe even small livestock. Vertical farms might become diverse food production centers catering to various nutritional needs. And then there's easy educational and community engagement. Vertical farms offer an opportunity for education and community involvement from school tours to community gardens. They can become spaces for learning, growth, and connection, inspiring a new generation of urban farmers and conscious consumers. And of course, we have to circle around to sustainability. With continued focus on sustainability, vertical farming could set new standards in responsible agriculture, aligning with global goals on water conservation, energy efficiency, and reducing carbon emissions. It's a symbol of what modern agriculture can achieve, driven by values that resonate with our global community. The future of vertical farming is more than a collection of technologies and techniques. It's a vision of a world where agriculture adapts innovates and flourishes in harmony with our urban lives. It's a hopeful future and one that I think is within our reach. Whether you're an urban dweller, a technology enthusiast, an environmental advocate, or simply someone curious about the world, vertical farming has something to offer. If you think we can just continue our traditional farming methods to solve our food needs, then you'll want to check out my video here on the potential nutrient collapse. 